important video for the Car Turner brand turntable with a new lock nut clips. First thing you want to do when you assemble the turntable is to sweep the floor. Make sure there's no nuts, bolts, screws, rocks, or any kind of debris under the machine. When you open the box, you want to take out the long straight spokes with the points. You want to place those radially around the center with the points all coming together. Now this is going to take you some while to get this precisely enough. You're going to have to get there and work these right down to where they're really precisely located. Where there's no gaps, where nothing is overlapping the next spoke, and where all the corners of those spokes line up absolutely perfectly. You're then going to take the white Delrun hub and you're going to place that down over those nuts. You may have to tap it and work a little bit, probably have to tap it with your palm to get it down. And once you've got this, use the 516 socket wrench to lightly tighten down these nuts, but do not tighten them completely. Once you've lightly tightened them, you want to go back and make sure that these spokes are absolutely flat and not overlapping each other anywhere. To make adjustments, you will simply twist the white Delron hub and you will notice these will line up properly. Once you have them lined up properly, then you will hand tighten them, but not too tight. And then place on the center bearing hub. Then grab the large outer ring pieces with the motors attached. They will fit right at the end of the spokes. And notice there's a tab right there at the end of the spoke that goes on this outer ring. There are three of those. They alternate. You will put each one in place. After you put the large outer rings with the motors in, you will then grab the outer rings without the motors and put those in between. All these pieces go together in pretty much a jigsaw type fashion. They interlock together. You want to make sure they're correct. After you've laid in all these outer pieces and made sure each one is correctly located, as you see right here, you will then start on the inner rings. Each one, same thing, they interlock to each other and go around radially in this circle. You will then finish up with the middle rings. Each one also put in place perfectly. down. This is what the finished spider is going to look like. Next, you're going to put down the clips that hold this together. Notice these clips have an L shape and a high part. The high part always goes to the outer edge of the rings. On the outer ring, you have a little bit different situation. You have one clip to hold the spokes. You'll have two small clips that go right where the wheel goes, and one outer clip beyond that. You want to tighten all these down, and then you want to grab the socket wrench and tighten all these down. Tighten starting in the spoke, and then move to the ring itself. You want to hand tighten these. You do not want to over tighten these whatsoever. Just snug them up. Do not over tighten. and verify that everything has been properly tightened and done in place. When you're done, you then want to take and drill these holes in the spokes, in the holes that are located there, to permanently mount this machine from moving so it will not drift over time. You're going to use this kind of lock screw, and when you put these in, you want to make sure they're put in straight line without any crinkles in that spoke. Work from the center towards out. When you drill these holes, make sure that you suction or sweep up all the debris from drilling these holes, otherwise it may get on the turntable itself and cause noise and rattling.
installation of the spider and it's now time to work on the motors and the wire harness. First we're going to remove the motor. It's held down by three screws. You'll remove those three screws. Then remove the motor and then place the wire harness in which is held in place by some nylon glue tabs. You'll work these all the way around the machine. When it gets to a motor area you're going to put down two of the tabs, then you're going to put back in the motor. When you put back in the motor, you take the polyurethane spring pad with the screw, put it in the slot, and then put down the three screws. Now, important, you're going to hand tighten these screws. Do not use an electric driver or you're never going to get the screws out again if you need to. There's three of them. Just hand tighten these screws. That is sufficient. Screw the motor down. You're simply going to plug it in. It's a two-way plug. There's no way to get it backwards. Once you have this plug in, you're going to fold the wire harness in. Use one of the nylon fold-over tabs and put this in place right on the edge of the turntable. You will then proceed to do this all the way around the turntable and with all the motors. We're going to plug in the main harness and we do this the same way we plug into an individual motor. We have a two-way plug that comes from the converter that goes to the wire harness. You simply plug it in. There's no way to get it backwards. You have now finished the wire harness and the motor setup and are ready to proceed to putting down the pan pieces themselves. Best to have two people because each of these pan pieces weighs about 130 pounds. You want to put on three at first and after you put on three then you're going to start working on attaching these to the center bearing. to the center bearing. Mirror finishes should be on the outer bolt pattern, all others on the inner bolt pattern. You're going to use the one quarter inch Allen head wrench and you're going to install each of these bolts. Make sure you do not change the bolt pattern you're using. When you put these in, you got to put them in tight together and you have to make sure that you're not having that collar bind up on that pan piece you want it to go all the way down through. Notice how you kind of adjust this with the crowbar to make sure you've got this easy to get that screw started. You want to make sure it goes all the way down in. Now when you have about five of these in, you want to make sure the alignment is proper. The way you're going to do this and adjust this is by putting a bolt across you're going to use this crowbar as a lever to twist this center bearing. And when you do, you'll notice the alignment of these panels changes. You want to make sure that all these edges align just perfectly in the middle. And you can also verify when they're done exactly right, the outer edges will also be absolutely perfectly even. all the panels. Notice once again when you put in these nuts you want to make sure it penetrates down to where you get that smooth part in the hole. Last panel, take the crowbar, give it a good push to lock it in there past the other panels. It does take a little bit of pushing. Put in the last nut. After that you're going to put the center cover on. These are simply push pins. You simply put them in, give them a push, and they lock down in place. If you need to remove them, all you got to do is push it in the middle. It'll release. Around the machine, you have motor ramps and non-motor ramps. Non-motor ramp has ridding. Motor ramp has ribs missing where the motors go. 
Now when you start putting these down you'll notice you have little catches. They interlock to each other. You'll also notice there's a ridge underneath these ramps that fits right up against that ring of stainless steel. If you're going to put the thing correctly over the nut and the other side should just slide and lock right into place when that ridge hits the stainless steel. You know you should also are for the wire harness and notice you have one area where it's been cut out for the input wire that feeds the machine itself. This should be your first ramp that goes down. You want to feed this in there so it's not pinched. You will then go to the right and go counterclockwise around the machine, putting ramp after ramp in place, being very careful on each one to make sure the wire harness is not pinched, putting in the hex nut and do not over tighten it. You will do this all the way around the machine. Always be careful to make sure the wire harness is not being pinched in those holes. And when you do tighten down these nuts, do not over tighten them. We're almost done. All we got to do is put these all the way around the machine. And when this is done, the machine is ready to start and operate.